What it do, Sharp Stakes crew. This is day 68 of Straight Not So Straight videos. Let's dissect. This is one of our best days in a long time. So round of applause for the players. On total for the slate, we had six plays, technically seven. One of them got pushed to tomorrow, August 15th, because there was some, I think there's some other delays at the Cincinnati Open. But in total, we had six plays on the slate, and we hit at a four for six rate, one of our highest win percentages in a long time, in a massive time. And let's dissect. We can talk about our two losers. Um, they were a bit far off. We needed the Yankees and the Cardinals to win. The Yankees got smoked. And then we needed the Astros Marlins over seven and a half, Angels Rangers over eight and a half, and Rays Giants over seven and a half. Astros and Marlins only had six runs, so that was a bit off. Those two bad beats weren't necessarily bad beats, they were just losses. We have those. I want to cover those quickly so we can get right into the winners. We had four on the slate, and let's just start from the bottom. Spain to win in regular time and two plus total goals scored. Um, this was crazy. This was definitely a close call. So Spain won the game, and there was more than two goals scored. There was exactly three, and this was all in regular time. But up until the 80th minute of the game, zero goals had been scored. Spain scored in the 81st minute, then Sweden tied it up with like two minutes left, and then Spain scored like right after. So not only did we hit the over goals prop, we had Spain winning. That was a big win. What was it? 13 and a $45 on FanDuel. Soccer. Gotta love it. Football, football. Gotta love it. Um, but that was a great win there as well. Let's just keep going. Marlins and Astros. Miami to win. And Luis Arias, one plus hits. This was another close call. Not the Marlins winning. The Marlins, although the Astros low-key had more men on base, they were leaving a ton of batters. Just leaving a ton of base runners. And they had more hits. The Marlins just, those running runners in scoring position were coming home. So the Marlins got the dub. But up until the eighth inning, bottom of the eighth, Luis Arias did not have a hit. He was 0 for 3, and then he got his last at bat of the game, as we can see right here. Luis Arias got his last at bat of the game, and it was a home run. As we can see right here, Arias had his home run, so we got the Arias hit, and the Marlins won. Crazy thing about this home run is they went off the foul pole. You know, another foot to the right, he probably wouldn't have ended up getting a hit. So, a huge close call. He hits the foul pole, he gets the home run and the Marlins win. And what's funny is that the Marlins had three straight home runs in a row in that eighth inning. Soleil, Arias, and Bell went back to back to back. Um, which I think it's the second time in franchise history for the Marlins, so pretty cool. That was a great win there. That 365 maxed it out at 20. So I think it was 20 and 65, so a great $45 profit. Here, a little bit of action on Betway. Braves versus Yankees. Over nine and a half runs in the game, and then Olsen and Judge each to record one plus hits. This was the easiest cash of our life. This play had already won after the third inning. Um, but as we can see here, total for the game, 14 runs, so that over prop hit easily. And Judge had two hits, and Olsen had two hits. So both those guys got their hits. We turned that $12 into $54 pretty quickly. And then our last play, we're gonna go to Angels and Rangers. Texas to win, Adol, um, Garcia two plus total bases. I think it's Adolis. Adolis Garcia two plus total bases. Ensures their seven plus strikeouts. Rangers smoked the Angels 12-1. Angels only had one hit. Um, Scherzer had 11 Ks. We needed him to have seven strikeouts. He had 11, so easily hit on that prop. And then we just needed Adolis Garcia to have what two plus total bases. We needed him two plus total bases. And thankfully, he hit a home run in his last at bat in the bottom of the eighth. Um, he had two walks on the day, but in his last at bat, he got that one hit. It was a home run, as we can see here. Cashed us that bet 365 parlay. 13 in the 78. Another huge, profitable play. Overall, an amazing day. If we go to our final numbers here, we hit at a four for six rate. We're up $140 on the day. That brings our profit back over 2000 and we're on a roll. I'm telling you guys, we're on a roll, so stay tuned. More sports are coming out. Algo's doing better, as expected, so stay tuned, and hopefully August 15th is profitable as well. So we'll be back with another video soon. Peace.